Attack the problem and not the person. This is my mantra anytime that I have to enter conflict. When I know whatever I'm going to say might hurt the other person's feelings, it might affect how they think or feel about me. There might be political ramifications. I have to tell myself to attack the problem and not the person. This comes from Patrick Lencioni's book, Five Dysfunctions of a Team. And one of those five dysfunctions being lack of conflict in the workplace. Most of us think of conflict as a bad thing. I mean, I do, I'm, af I'm afraid of conflict. But the lack of conflict is actually a symptom of an unhealthy work environment because it means that people don't trust each other to speak their minds, to speak their truth. And it creates the illusion of harmony. But it's actually through conflict that we build trust. We build our relationships. We see progress and in innovation. Conflict can be a great thing. It's an uncomfortable thing, but it can be a great thing. And I love the idea of attack the problem and not the person because now it's no longer you versus me. It's us. It's us versus the problem. We're working together on a solution to get to where we both want to be. I love that idea. It's so empowering. And I remind myself this, I use this tool when I have to give constructive feedback, when I have to have hard conversations, when I know I won't agree with someone. I have to do this when I need to stick up for myself or for someone that I care about. It's getting over that fear. You have to take away the emotion. It's not personal. We attack the problem to make progress. So this is my mantra. It's been working for me. It's been a long journey and I'm still working on it. I hate conflict, but I'm working on it and this is helping. But I'd love to hear your tips. <laughs> I need them. I know other people need them. So please leave them down in the comments below. Thanks y'all.